Hey guys, how's it going? Well, it's a pretty day today and we're going to do some more work on this dart today. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace our accelerator cable. Now, it's not as straightforward as it sounds because um, a while back I bought a, an aftermarket uh, downshift cable kit made by Locar and put on here uh, for a couple reasons. Um, the main of main reason is that um, the factory linkage, the kick, what they call the kick down linkage, it's not really the kick down linkage, but it's the uh, it's the throttle pressure linkage on these these cars, these Mopars. Uh, they use kind of a complicated arrangement. It's kind of a modified Z bar. In other words, here at the carburetor, you have a carburetor. Of course, the lever goes back that direction when carburetor pushes the throttle comes open it pushes the lever this way and then there's a joint that pushes one down this way and then at the bottom it pushes another one back the other way so uh, it's just kind of a complicated uh, setup on a good day and what further complicates is when you do different things like you put a four barrel on a two barrel car and you do what I did and you uh, use a uh, a phenolic insulator on the carburetor it starts to throw your geometry away off and you add into that that you have to have a specific type of throttle cable bracket downshift cable bracket kick down rod and however you want to say that I'm mixing it up a little bit you get the drift uh, for a four barrel which are pricey and rare so buying a $79 aftermarket kit to convert it starts to look pretty good. So that's what I did. And so I've got the that the throttle pressure cable kick down, whatever you want to say, whatever you like to call it, you can call it that. And I've got that put on. That's the bracket that Low Car also sells to uh, install this thing up here at the carburetor. And it's already on down to bottom. And get down there. I've got to do some more transmission work, so I'll show you that at a different time. But suffice to say, uh, it's a nice kit and it works very well. What's not going so good is that uh, I ended up not being able to use my factory accelerator cable, which is this here. You see, I've got a nice bungee uh, wire tie, whatever you want to call these, uh, this arrangement here. Uh, I got that in there, so holding it on temporarily just so I can move the car so that has to go away so I went ahead and bought the uh, matching throttle cable kit so let's take a look back here what we got so here it is yeah, this is the engine the business end goes on the engine end and this is the end that goes inside on the firewall and I can tell you right away that this little clevis is going to have to come off here. It's got just a, you see in there, it's got a end made onto it. But this whole thing will come out because this, this just fits on here. You can take this whole assembly off the end of the cable and the cable comes out of the housing. So that's no problem. These are your adjusters. The instructions kind of shows you how it's going to work. So... You can tell it's already really, it looks like an Elderbrock carburetor, Carter, that's what that actually is, but, so, that's what we're going to do today, we're going to put this in and get it installed, and, like I said, this can't be anything but a positive development, because you, you start to get rid of all this claptrap, and all these spring-loaded adjusters, and this thing here that, Somebody's already modified, goes to the carburetor, tried to make it fit. Didn't work. And this is the this is the the bracket that bolts onto the back of the intake back here. So we're gonna get rid of that too. That's going away. You know, and I'm all for <clears throat> I'm all for originality where I can. But the thing is that I'm not gonna fool parts that aren't going to work and I'm especially not going to give somebody that's got one of these uh, four barrel linkage assemblies I'm not going to give them $200 for that thing so not when I can do this for half the price so that's what we're going to do so uh, we're going to 
work on getting this cable out and uh, go from there. Okay, we're inside the car and I thought I'd show you the business end of this uh, cable where it goes into the accelerator pedal. And there it is, that's that, you see right there, and I don't have a free hand to point with, but you see a little black button of a thing, it looks like right there, and then there's the end of something above it, that's the, that's the end of the accelerator cable, so we have to remove that. So we're gonna pop that little button out, and then you just simply slide down the, you know, the slot right there, and it comes out, so. And then back here, I know this looks like there's a, uh, let me get the wire there again. Uh, that that is actually a wash uh, retaining uh, clip. It's got a. You can't really see that. It's an impossible place to see it up there. But anyway, it's got a little lip that you can grab with something and slide that out. So that probably has to come out. I'm sure to get the cable out. So I'll work on that. All right. Well, if, uh excised the old uh, accelerator cable from the car and uh, it's just basically what I showed you. It's got the small end here that goes into the pedal arm and then it had that clip. Let me get that. <clears throat> Show you that. Look inside here somewhere. Among all this detritus. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Hmm. Well, maybe not. Thought I had pulled that out, but. Huh. Yeah, I'm doing all the loose stuff. I'll be back here. Ah, doesn't matter. I'll find it later. So it's going to go into the spare parts thing anyway, but. <clears throat> So this is the old cable, and this thing was pretty stiff. Didn't want to work too well. So I'll keep that as a spare in case I ever need a V8 cable for something. And keep that. But this is this is a new one, and I went ahead and, like I said, this whole thing just comes apart. It's really neat because it's adjustable. You got a part here on the end, and it's just got a little Allen set screw right here, right, right there, and People up north say that right there, is that just a southern thing? Anyway, there it is, and that's that's what you do to uh, tighten that. And then this is your adjuster, which goes right in here. Make sure you keep those in order. And then what we'll do is, see, this is quite a bit longer than the one that's coming out. This is a 24-inch uh, cable. It's as short as you can get them, I think. So. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get this all put in and together and uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do first, I'm going to read the instructions for sure, but I think what we'll do is we put in the cable itself and install it into the firewall and then we kind of look at how much uh, housing we need to take off this thing. We can just chop this off here, so um, just make sure that you are careful with doing that because you can't replace material. You can cut more off, but you can't replace it, so don't cut it too short. And then once you get that established, you can put your cable in and put all this together and establish how much cable you have left inside and just shorten that up as you need it. I'm not a big fan of doing that, but that's what has to be done. Otherwise, you got uh, accelerator cable all over the engine compartment. We don't need that, so. And like I said, I did take this little clevis off here. I guess that's what you would call this. And just got a little uh, E-clip right there. You can just take off with your uh, handy dandy pick. Take that off. It's off, good to go. So, so now it's just on to reading some instructions and putting this back in. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. Well. Sirens are blaring, dogs are barking. It's another day in the neighborhood. So we're partway through the process here, of putting this cable in. And you can see up there, there's the new, got the new one in. And uh, there's no cable in it, but that's the housing. That's what they call the adjuster with the nut on the 
passenger side end right there, passenger compartment. And it just went right in. The hole's the correct size for the cable and all that, so that's no problem. The only thing I did do was when I put this uh, new cable in, the threaded part, meaning the part that's in here, um, look through my camera, I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't look at what I'm pointing the camera at, I guess, or vice versa, but that part there, the little small part in the center, uh, it stuck out too far in here, and so when the accelerator pedal was as far in as it'd go, it would, instead of hitting the, it's, on stop that it has on the end of the arm like it should it was hitting the end of that new cable up there that housing so the adjuster so you can't have that that's not you don't need that to happen so what I had to do is I had to put I had a factory kind of a shim washer that I used on this side you can just barely see that maybe under there little rusty part there but I used that on this end and then out here show you what I did here to solve that. <sighs> what I did out here was at the firewall outside I put in a couple uh, where are we? there we are out there I put a couple large washers on they're not very thick and two of them did the trick lined it up perfectly and it's probably a good idea anyway because all that is right there is just a sheet metal hole there's no anything to spread the force and uh, uh, you know there's not gonna be a lot of force on a accelerator cable anyway but just you know you don't if you can avoid deforming the firewall somehow you know when you tighten that thing down it's probably a good idea so and that one's I can see that one's just a little bit off center so I'll have to play around with that but here's the important part which you really have to pay attention to this and make sure you do this the right way the first time because you don't have a second time if you screw it up this is the uh, adjuster and I want to glare on that but that's the adjuster and the way this is designed is this end of this cable right here it's got a little ferro wheel it's back at the back I haven't put that on but it goes in here and it's held against this by uh, you know pressure on the cable spring pressure up here that kind of thing so it goes in here but you put this in and you want to center this so that you have just about as much thread here as you have thread back here you don't want it all the way back you don't want it all the way up there because this is like I said this is your adjuster so obviously to adjust you need threads to adjust with make some sense like this one down here so see they're both roughly centered so I should have plenty if need be I should have plenty of adjustment so and then comes the important part of cutting the cable housing you see this cable housing this is 24 inches of cable housing this puts the end of it roughly out here with the uh, radiator hose so that ain't gonna work so what the instructions say to do is they say take a tape measure and you measure from what they call the firewall fitting, which is back there. That's the firewall to the carburetor adjustment. Adjuster right here, center line of this thing. And, um, well, I think actually you measure to this end. So for me, that was about eight and a half inches. So you add two and a half, you had, I'm sorry, you had the instructions say so you add two inches to that, and then that's where you cut the cable. So that's gonna put it about about right here so uh, that's fine for me because that'll give you me plenty of slack you don't want it uh, you don't want it pulled out uh, uh, tight like this you don't want it like this so there's no bend in it because the engine's gonna move and rock around and things like that and you don't want it pulling on the cable so you want to give yourself plus while the factory has slack designed into it so you want to be sure you give yourself plenty. So, so I'm going to cut this right here, and I may actually even cut a bit more, but I want to use that as a trial because I've got my. I picked this tool up at uh, Harbor Freight several months ago, and I really like this. I use this. This is actually a PCV pipe cutter, but I use this to cut wires and, uh, but mainly like hoses, rubber hoses, and things like that because. 
it just ratchets down and cuts them squarely. You know, you're trying to cut it with a knife just wasn't working too good. It's always you always have a kind of a ragged end to it. So I'm going to use this to go ahead and lop that off. And you know, the old saying goes, "Think twice, cut once." So don't you know? <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean about this, but don't mess this up because you have if you do you gotta buy a whole nother kit or at least the cable housing and you don't wanna do that. So I've left myself, I've marked it and I've left myself plenty of excess here. And that way if I think I'm gonna take more off or my cut wasn't exactly straight, then I can go do it a little bit more. So hopefully this will work. Okay. Back in a jiffy. All right, this is what you should have when you get done with that little operation. There, you put the inner cable back in. Okay then, I think we're going to call this job done. This is what it looks like when it's all together. And essentially what I did since the last part was uh, I put on the adapter for the carburetor which just bolts right on here it's got two nuts that go through a conveniently located hole there and it's got kind of an ugly washer I had to use to make sure that I had plenty of support and I'll probably get another washer that's a little bit smaller at some point but uh, you do that and then you make sure and pull your inner cable tight meaning the accelerator cable is all the way tight and the pedal is all the way up inside the car. When you do that, the instructions will tell you to uh, adjust this here so that you just loosen this nut and then you can turn this. Uh, you just run it into you got five or six threads showing, and it said four, but I'm, I left more because if I need to tighten it up a little bit here, I could. And you pull that cable tight. Like I said, once again, you think twice, cut once. You want to leave just enough to go in here without it uh, binding up at the end. So I cut that cable off. You loosen this Allen screw. Uh, insert this in here all the way. Tighten the Allen screw back up and see what kind of adjustment you have. And this one works great. I didn't hardly have to adjust anything. This is your adjuster here. You can tighten it up here if you need more. Uh, if you don't have too much slack in the cable. But this one seems to open it all the way up full throttle exactly as it should. Uh, we'll take a look here, see if I can get you set up. Do that without falling off the car. Yes. Just hit a button there. Sorry about that. Ain't that easy. Uh, nope. Alright, let's try that. It may need to go just a little bit tighter. Uh, it looks a little slackish to me right here. I think it could go a little bit tighter and needs to pull just a little bit wider in. But we'll, we'll check on that later. I'll deal with that later. Main thing now is just to get it on there and fixed. And you notice I had my, I have my uh, accelerator pump arm there disconnected. Uh, that's so that I didn't pump all the gas into the engine while I was messing with this. So you might want to do that too. So, all right. Then. So, try to pick the camera up without pushing all these stupid buttons on the side of it again. This camera's got a, it's got a pause button. It's got something called Smart Auto. It's got Smart BGM. Something doesn't even I don't know what that is, but I don't know. So I don't mess with that stuff. So next thing is to get rid of this ugliness. I'm going to use that box as a spare. But I gotta clean that wire net. That looks horrible. Look at that. So it's okay though. We can improve it. We can make it better. Okay. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.